do you want to know? Hello everyone. Today's subject is physics and our topic would be vectors and scalars. So before we differentiate what vectors and scalars are, we will first need to know what is physics. Physics is the natural science that studies matter, its motion and behavior through space and time, and um, the related entities of energy and force. And with the motion of an object, the mathematical quantities that you use to describe a motion of an object is divided into two categories, and that is vector and scalar. And by the way, let me just add up, physics is a mathematical science. Its concept, its underlying concept and principles have mathematical basis on it. So the, the whole entire physics lessons expect that you will be dealing with mathematical uh, problems also. Moving on. So we, we all know now that vectors and scalars are the quantities that we use to describe um, a motion of an object. For example, uh, scalars. Scalars, the, dif the difference is scalars is only represented by a numerical number or a ma the magnitude. For example, uh, 15 feet deep, uh, 5 centimeters. Let us write that down so you can see. Okay. So, scalars are just described by magnitude or just the numerical value. Let's give an example. 5 centimeters. 15 feet. Uh, 4,000 calories. So, these are all scalar quantities. While vector, on the other hand, is described same with descri is described by magnitude and direction. Example would be this one. Thirty meter per second east. So this is the difference of vector and scalar. Scalars, only magnitude. Vectors have magnitude and direction. And vectors are usually represented by an arrow. This is the head. This is the head. And the tail. We'll know more about this when we start getting the resultant or the sum of two vectors. Thank you. Bye.